I do not know where she came from. Some place before the beginning. Each of her 37 trillion cells home to 100 trillion atoms. And there are 1 billion billion universes in an atom, they say. I am five foot six, hardly big enough to hold such celestial vastness, and yet here she is, in my ordinary arms, in this average room, all six pounds, fifteen and a half ounces of her. At night, we float among constellations of glow in the dark pacifiers. Her warmth of my breast is terra firma as walls disintegrate into limitless space. The baby monitor light blinks in the darkness, a distant star, disappearing when I look directly at it, both there and not there, like Schrodinger's cat. On bad nights, we scream into the vacuum. Every conceivable parallel universe is just us and vomit and crack nipples and wailing on and on for eternity. I am ablaze at the event horizon. Time ceases to be meaningful. I am stretched, taut by grief for the loss of my old existence, pulled into new depths I cannot fathom, unable to turn the other way. Alive in two realities. Marvelling with wonder at the beauty of this new dimension and overwhelmed with the vast weight of being needed. Tied to each other like a planet in orbit around a star, like an earth needing nourishment and light and warmth from a sun that must burn so bright, so fully, so constantly that it fears it will burn out. Loss, doubt, intense love scorch the skin, breathless, tight, burned up and then exhausted and empty. I let go and I fall. Collapsing in on myself, dying to everything I thought I was, shrinking down into a singularity. But from a tiny point, one billion billion times smaller than an atom, the whole universe begins. I realise I have been pushing against an old skin, ready to burst forth into a new being, vulnerable, blind, soft and bright, forcing out a blaze of light and life and joy, an ageless expanse of love. A universe surrounding all things, stretching out to forever in all directions, until I died myself again. An endless pulse of contraction and expansion, like lungs, or a cervix, or a maiden becoming a mother. And in all of this cosmic chaos, one infinite constant, a limitless love for six pounds, fifteen and a half ounces of sticky fingers and stardust. <laughs>